Hey, how's it going? Mic check. I can hear you. Can you? All right. Yes, I can. You're a little quiet. Hey, how's it going? Mic check. Oh. Yes, still quiet. I can hear you loud and clear through the uh, through the Twitch stream, but not so much through the headset. Uh, Thanks for taking the time to do this. How about now? A little bit, a little bit, still, still a little quiet. I got. Uh, I'm a veteran. I got blown up a couple times, so my my hearing isn't so good. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Um, how about you listen on Twitch? Yeah, I guess I could. I can probably turn my game volume down a bit too. Yeah, because I'm gonna go. Um, what were some techniques? Yeah. I don't want you to watch on Twitch. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you. Sounds good to me. Okay. Brady's gonna be. Oh, I already got everyone asking me to fly this morning. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the basics. Um. I go over. Some, I want to go over some. Thing I'm... Okay. You talking about builds? Should I, I open up my hangar? Control. I, I have actual... Controller options. Okay. Well, I'm on a PS4 controller, so it's, okay. a, well, no, these are still it's a bit different. It's still the same. Okay. Okay. PS4 controls. I did that. Controls. First thing off is throttle down to stop the press that. Yeah, yeah, that's off. Um, drift input mode hold, something that. Yep. Um, power manage, probably on base. Advantage. Yeah, I've tr I've tried it on advanced, and it's a little bit easier for me to drift better yeah, with the uh, advanced on console. You basic, really have I think. to be yeah, good at hitting the D-pad at the exact timings. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. Dance. That's gonna... I, I suggest practicing it. Big one. I would do bottle steps and go... Steps, yeah. You want it at 50? I would recommend. All you really care about is 50. And those are the three steps you care about. Everything else is whatever. Okay, and then you want throttle input mode on steps and then 50%? Yeah, that'd be your best bet in this. Is okay. It's going to be a full half speed in those. I'm going to explain why you got you want. Put your control. It yet? Combo boost on L2. Yeah, I've done that. Oh, yeah, I've done that. Then you have all powers on. For power shoot, yeah, yeah, they're all on my D pad. Okay, good. We're on the same level. 
trying to do that with players. Times putting. Oh yeah, it took me like 200 levels before I remapped my boost to L2. Exactly. Right. And so, and once I did, that was game changing. Yep, exactly. That's all I want to make. Well, let's go in basic techniques. I'm cool with that. You don't yep. need basic technique. The Asian part is absolutely, absolutely useless. Hey man, even even SEAL Team Six has to practice the basics. Exactly. You're, you're a military guy, so you got that. Yeah. This is your, I'm gonna choose NR. I can it's a little bit easier. That's easier. Fire right, basic. If you need it, I got Don't it. Don't worry about my build. That build. Defense. Coming right up. Bear with me. Bear with me. I, I, un well, do the building block. Okay. So, obviously, there's boost drift effect. Hit the common bunny again. Right, right? and that's how. It and I mean, I'm, I'm sure you understand that. You want boost drift? That's a good idea. About. Maybe try having him in Discord, and uh, then once we switch over to playing in the same game, we can switch to voice chat to save his phone battery. Good game chat. Right. So, how are we gonna do? Okay, come on. Nothing. I missed out of trades. I have him in game now. So. If he does Discord now while we're in practice mode, and then we can switch to game chat later because uh, he can't charge his phone or whatever. People can't hear me. Now can they? Now they can hear me now. Wait more. I only have one headset, so if I record voice chat on my phone, I'm not gonna be, be able to have it on on game chat. Yeah, we don't need game chat. Okay, all right. Let me figure yeah, this out. Sorry, man. I don't really. I'm, I'm not used to Discord and stuff. You know, I'm getting used to it. Not a big deal. So voice channel. Join. How are you doing that? Mic check, one, two. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, this, this thing kind of bugs out a little bit. Let me grab my phone charger. Can you guys hear me now? You yes. You hear me now on Discord? Yes. So we can hear you on Discord. Okay. I don't understand. It'll be nice when PlayStation partners with Discord next year. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta boost this, because, yeah, there we go. Okay. We can break Jake's ears right now. Wait, Jake says he can't hear me. Wait, did you say you could hear me on Discord? I can hear you on Discord, and I can hear a few of us echoing on your Twitch stream, can but I guess not you. Okay, not me. Oh, I can hear you on Twitch. So you can hear me on Twitch. What? 
I saw you mouth. Damn it. If that makes a difference. Okay, now you can hear me. Okay. Super faint. Why? I'm... Uh, I hear you loud and clear. Oh, wait. I'm second. Discord. Something, yeah, something's up. Uh, you know what? I, I bet you. No, it's not it. Sorry, guys. Fine. I, I want to fix this. Is... Yeah, it's boosted all the way. My microphone's boosted all the way in Windows. Uh, so how, about how about now? Your mic? Does your mic have an audio thing? No, it doesn't. It's uh, pretty basic. I, mean, I, I've just boosted the hell out of. Okay. I, I boosted OBS mic turned way down. I, I just checked it. It's like I have the gain up like to eleven. Okay. Okay. Um. They can hear me now. That's all that matters. Okay, let's go back in. Let's do this again. Because I'm going to lose you in game. Hatch pain. Okay. So we just we just did the controls. Okay, so let's go back in. And like I said, let me do the, the big... I don't think I'm with you. You just kind of... It looks like you left my... my yeah, yeah. Because uh, go to Twitch. Because I'm in. I'm actually in practice mode. It's, it's easier to, to show how to do stuff in practice mode than gotcha. it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, so as I was saying before, um, okay, so just very quickly, I you uh, you understand the concept of a boost drift, right? Like if I put max power to engines, I build boost in the boost bar to the left. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then if I hit boost and then drift combo, I can drift basically around, which helps me turn while at speed. And that concept of boost drift is uh is uh latent to you, right? You understand that there's no mystery about it. Do you have any questions about boost drift and how that works, Hatchbane? No, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with boost and drift. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to go with the next thing is called boost skipping. Um, it's the idea that, okay, when I boost, get to max power, and then drift, right? You see how it takes a couple seconds to go down to the, your normal speed. That That's the whole entirety of the drift. But if I combo this, Right, I, I can basically drag this drift for a little bit. Saying that the uh, Twitch stream will resume shortly. All of a sudden, like Wait. I'm seeing a purple. What? Uh, it's, I got a message. I hit your your stream, and it says uh, hello. If you're seeing this, hit, hit refresh. Oh, it's a countdown. Wait, hit refresh. Okay. Because I'm live, and I can see oh, people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I see you. Okay. So if I okay, so back to, so the concept of a drift basically is you get the max speed, and then when you hit the drift button and hold it, it will come down to that speed, and then you're still moving at like a higher speed, but you're decelerating much slower, right? And you can turn during this. Okay, so there's a concept of boost skipping, where if I boost drift, I can combo this boost drift to kind of to kind of uh, get across the field, right? And then this is. This conserves, the, the idea behind this is it conserves my boost, so I can use that for other things, right? And I'll show you that okay. the, the difference between boost skipping and just boosting out to the target is nominal. Um, so this is with a slam engine. That thing is three clicks out right now. I'm going to boost at three clicks. Yeah, I'm just going to hold it. So I went about... 2.3 clicks on that entire thing, and it took me a little bit, right? It took me a couple seconds. Yeah, but Gerald, you still almost have full boost. That's pretty cool. Well, th that was not skipping, right? That was just that was just me uh, boosting, right? So I can cover that same okay. distance. That same distance. I'm gonna go into three clicks. I can cover that same distance with what's called boost skipping, essentially, and I'll conserve a lot more energy. So. Like, I wasn't even at full bar, right? I'm, I'm about to close on the MC. And I wasn't even at full bar when I did that, right? I didn't wait for my bar to fill up. So I essentially was able to get to the MC in roughly the same amount of time. Um, no, uh, Marco, I use APM. I use APM. Um, that's just because I didn't click the whole the way through. Um, but anyway, so the idea of boost skipping is allow allows me to get that same distance while conserving boost, essentially. I can get that same distance um 
cover that same distance without having to use my entire boost bar. And actually, if you're very efficient with it, you could do it like with very nominal boost. Like combo boost is actually terrible. It's very inefficient. Here, I have a keyboard set up here. If I do it with, if I do it with my keyboard, oh no, my keyboard's not working. I didn't have a setup. Never mind, ignore me. If you like a keyboard where you separate boost and drift, it's much more efficient. Why is this not working? Um, okay, so that concept of boost skip, do you understand, Hadjabin? Understand the concept. I've never. Well, I might have done it without, you know, meaning to. I just I would need to practice it. So all you're doing is just toggling your your boost and drift to, because I know when you hold, like for me it's L2. When I hold it, I generate boost pretty quickly. So yeah, you want to get up to speed, hold well, it, regain your boost, and then just keep doing that. You basically want to boost while you're still drifting. So like, here, I'll show you again. I'll show it again. Ready? I'm gonna boost, get to top speed, drift. While I'm drifting, boost again, drift. If I wait a second, if I wait a second, right, you can actually rebuild some of your your boosts because if you wait that second, you're waiting for the penalty to end, and the penalty is about like a, a second and a half, right? And see, like I I still have like three bars of boost, essentially. Yep. Right, because I waited for the penalty to end, I started building boost back during the skipping. Gotcha. Right, and this this just takes a little bit of practice. There's a cadence to it. There's an absolute cadence to it, right? But once you get this practice down, you can basically cover the map and still have boost. So like if I do this with it, if I do this, I can get to like say the ISD from my MC and start attacking with some boost in the in the tank essentially. Yeah, before the enemy players are even out of the hangar from the ship swap. Correct. And like yeah, while they're building boost, you, you already have boost to go and you can attack. Yeah. Well, that's how you guys beat us all the time. <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna show you something even crazier. Okay. So remember how I said before, boosting, you're drifting, right? And you're just floating there while you're waiting for your speed to come down, right? That's drift. Yeah. Well, how can we optimize drifting? What if I can power other systems, right? Like while I'm flying, I power their system. I put throw in the shield, I throw in the laser to power them, right? While I'm flying around. Drift better when you switch the... Uh... Ah, the dead drift. Yeah, I was about to explain. I, I, before I explained the dead drift, I was explaining boost gasping. And then I was going to show you how with dread drifting, you can make you can make boost gasping even more powerful. Well, let me explain gasping first. So while I'm flying around, I could power up other systems. Well, why can't I do that when I'm skipping? So that's the concept of what's called boost gasping, where while I'm boosting around drifting, I'll change to another system and power it while I'm drifting. And I'll change back to power and engines, and then boost, drift, power something else, go back to engines. Boost, drift, power my lasers now. Notice I saw power in my engines, right? Because if I do this efficiently, I will always charge my boost while charging another system. Because all I'm doing is efficiently managing my time, essentially. Right. And, and honestly, this is this is four button presses: boost, drift, engine. Oh, sorry. I was in. Let's start over. Sorry. Boost, drift, laser, then back to engine. That's it, right? That's all I did. Four, okay. four, literally four button presses is all I did. I mean, to, to do the, what, what you were referring to, the dead drift, is five button presses, which is boost, drift, laser, uh, shield, lasers. And now I'm dead drifting. I'll explain dead drifting in a second, people. <laughs> but, like, that's all I'm doing. While I'm dead drifting, while I'm drifting, I'm gasping other systems to provide power. So while I'm getting covering the map now, I'm also building my shields and my lasers. So not only am I approaching you with some boost, while you're getting out of the hangar, I also have shields and lasers ready to go, right? And that's the content of gasp. This is the core tenet of pretty much every high-level player. If you can't gasp, you're behind the game. And it's not that hard. It just takes practice. We make it look easy because we've been doing this for like four, 500 game time hours, right? And we all started here, where you're at today, Hatchby, where someone showed it to me, and then I practiced for like 10, 15 minutes a day, essentially. Where I would just go into practice mode like this, and I would just fly around this, practicing the concept of gasping, right? Like this. So now I can go around this frigate, and I can shoot this frigate to death if I wanted to, kind of deal, right? And I would just practice for like 10, 15 minutes a day, so that I would get the muscle memory down before I went into fleet battle, essentially, to get gasping down. Oh yeah, I'm ready to practice. So, I mean, and like that that's honestly... That's the biggest secret in the high level world. And it's not really that much of a secret because Fencar has videos, everyone has videos about how to boost gas, right? But that's the biggest thing to learn in this game. 
Okay, so any questions about boost gas before I explain dead drifting? Oh, I, I get the concept. Practice it. I'd seriously, just practice it. Like, like I said, it's boost, drift, shields. Then back the engines to, to charge it. Boost, drift, whoops, sorry. Boost, drift, lasers. So I can charge it, then back the engines to power it. And that's... I mean, that, that just practice that. Just practice that slowly until you get it to where you, you have the timing down to where it's super quick, right? Where I can just I can just basically do it as like one motion. Does it matter what engine component you're using? Because I know there's one that increases your. I, I, yeah, we can get we can get it done in a second. We, we can get the build in a second. I, I just want to go over the the, the the technique itself before I do anything else. Right. Marco, what's the difference between EPM and BPM with respect to gasping? Uh. Fundamentally, not much. There's no difference between APM and BPM. However, the next concept, dead drifting, is affected by it, and the concept of shield skipping is affected by APM versus BPM. And that's why we all use APM. Let me explain dead drifting first, and then I'll explain what I mean by shield skipping. Okay, so you, you mentioned beforehand, Jimmy. the concept of dead drifting is how can I elongate that drift? Yeah, Marco, I know. Uh, but to be honest, Scalp Walker doesn't use it. So I. It's, it's nominal, but they're, they're, shield skipping is affected by it. But let me explain this. I'll say why it's nominal. Okay, so dead drifting, right? The, the drift is affected by your acceleration stat, essentially. So I have reinforced hull on the ship, so it's to help my dead drift. The more you hurt, you reduce your acceleration stat, the longer your dead drift can be. But another way to extend the dead drift even further is, like you said, what if, what if I can hurt my engine even more by pulling all the pips out of my engine, right? So what I'm going to do is this. The ship, the MC, right? I'm going to try and dead drift across it. Boost, drift, and while I'm drifting, I throw all my pips out of engine. And I can drag myself a decent way across the ship. I screwed that up. Right? I can drag myself longer than if I just put only four pips into engines, right? See how my drift isn't as long? Mm -hmm. So if I pull all the pips out, I can I can drift a lot longer, essentially. Now, drifting isn't the most evasive thing. It has some evasive properties, but you, you want to use these where it makes sense, right? Where I need to target something longer, I will dead drift so I can hang over it a little bit longer, right? But if I need to keep moving or I'm in trouble, I don't dead drift as much. I will just keep boost drifting around essentially to stay evasive right and i just might charge my shield while i'm being evasive so it's 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 a positional thing where you want to use it where it makes sense right if you need to be a little bit faster you don't necessarily need to dead drift as much but if you want to hang somewhere then you will dead drift so you can hang over it essentially so that's what i'm saying you want to practice Smart these to do that with an enemy right on your six so i i imagine yes but the one thing with dead drifting is you could do what's called pinballing, and I could get to pinballing in a second. And that's probably the first high-level evasive tactic I could show you. Um, but I just want to explain boost skipping really quickly to anyone who's watching, and why we, we use APM. So there's a bug in how shields regenerate, essentially. When you take laser fire, actually, yeah, I could probably show it. Uh, da, 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 uh, deploy enemy raider. Where is, okay. So when you take laser fire, there's a split second where your shield stops regenerating shield, right? You, you know that, correct? Okay. Yeah, the shield, are you talking about the regeneration delay? Yeah, the regeneration delay, perfect. Okay, you, you understand the concept. Okay. Yeah. So, because of a bug in the game mechanics, <laughs> when you zero out your shields and then throw it back to max, you actually reduce that regeneration delay. It's actually not truly instant, but, hold on, let's see if I get my shields to come down. But it's not truly instant, but it's close to instant, depending on the ship. Okay. So I'm taking damage, I'm taking damage. Uh, come on, Raider. Hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me. Oh my god. Just take my shields out, please. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, why is that thing my shield up? Okay, so it should. So if I put it, if I put four pips in, right? It'll start 
they'll start recharging until I get hit, right? Right, so it's stopped. But if I cancel it out, and I put... Hold on, cancel it. See, look, it's it's starting to charge. It charges, like, like after less than half a second, essentially, by going zero, by going zero, and then power into the shields. So that's why the concept of boost skipping with boost gasping is pretty powerful. Because it can keep you alive for like another extra second or two for you to get the hell out of the way. So I'd, I've actually been using that uh, quite, a, quite a bit in my ex when without even realizing, realizing it. Yeah. yeah. But that, that's why boost gasping itself is even more powerful, right? Because you can, yeah. you can get that cancel through and then get your shields going faster, essentially. Yep. Okay, let me break that down. Okay, cool. Yeah. And see, the thing is, I, I, I knew you'd use some of the stuff, just seeing it in person, I think, makes it more tangible. Um, okay, so now let me explain another bug to you and why, how everyone does what's called pinballing. Okay. Oh, I've seen that, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... When I boost my boost, right, it takes a little bit to get to full, right? It takes, like, a second or so, or two seconds or so to get to full, right, from... Sorry, from uh -huh. standard. I'm at 115. Okay, it takes like a second or two to get to 115. Um, right? But you see the big blue speed bar? And then the white throttle bar, right? You see the white throttle bar? If that white throttle bar is below the blue speed bar, there's a bug where your acceleration is almost instantaneous. Let me show it to you. See, I was at 200 almost immediately. <laughs> I'll show it again because it's very quick. I'm at 200, 40, with no delay, right? Did you see that, Hadjbane? You want me to show you the difference again? I'll show you the difference again. Here's yeah, if you could. yeah, no bug, no bug. See how it took like a second or a second or two to get up to 240, right? It takes a second or two yeah. to get to 240. I'm go back to, to normal speed, 114. White line below, white line below. Hold on, aim away from the edge of the screen. White line below blue speed bar. Now, see, I was at 240 almost instantaneously, right? Yes. So there's a bug where you have almost instant acceleration when your white line is below your blue speed bar. So a lot of us have been abusing that to get to almost instantaneous velocity. Um, you know what's even, you know what's even more broken than that? When I'm at zero. When you're at zero, for whatever reason, that red bar is below your velocity, according to the game. So I'm gonna hit instant, I'm gonna hit almost instant velocity. Uh, into max speed the moment I hit boost. Ready? Watch. There was like a second delay, and that was at max speed from zero. But now I don't have to manage any power, right? I don't have to keep throttling down in order to have instant acceleration. I just had instant acceleration. So this is where pinballing comes from. Yeah. We all just hit it. A lot of us, when we're trying to be super evasive, just hit it zero. And then we do, we just do oh skipping. Oh my god, that's game changing. I want to try this shit. Now, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, now wait. Now let me add dead drifting to that, right? Now you, I can hold that dead drift longer, and I can just change my velocity whenever I feel like at this point. And you don't need to swap your uh, your output into shields or... I, I've been, so wait, here, I'll show you again. Right? Okay, let me show you again. Right? I'm gonna dead drift. There. I'm dead drifting now. And like, it's gonna be almost impossible to hit me at this point. And now if I manage my power with this, I can just fly around like crazy while you're trying to hit me. And you're struggling to target me because um, I'm changing velocity and direction so instantaneously that like it's becoming oh, yeah. difficult, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is how this is how you make it difficult to kill you in a match. Yeah. So remember I said fifty steps before when you set your settings? If you're really good, let's say you're Fencar good, because Fencar does this. He doesn't set his throttle to zero. Fencar, when he's boosting, pushes down on his throttle bar so it goes down to fifty and then he boosts. Right? And he manages up and down essentially. So like after he's done boosting he may press up to get back so he keeps his top speed and then press down to boost. So he actually adds a fifth hit to this where he presses down on his throttle and then boost so this way his white bar is always below his his uh his uh velocity bar right 
And if you ma if you screw with your throttle that way and you get really good at it, that's even better because you're always moving then. Even when you're not boosting, you're moving. Because the problem with zero throttle is when you're not boosting, you stop. You're stationary. Yeah. Right? And when you run out of boost, because it can happen. It can happen in battle, especially if you start to get panic and you uh, aren't efficient. Um, you will be dead stop for a second right? while you're waiting for your, your boost to build up. And you'll sometimes see that. Someone who's pinballing will suddenly just dead stop for like a second. And you're like, well, okay, I can shoot them now. But then they boost again because they got their boost back, right? But if you watch Fencar, Fencar never stops because he's always met, he's always screwing with his throttle, essentially, to make sure that he's always moving. Shit, that makes sense. So how do you counter somebody pinballing? <sighs> we, we do what's called the iron dunk. So the one thing about pinballing is it doesn't break lock, right? So... Sometimes when I see someone pinballing is, I'll just cut the 50% throttle and I'll keep following them and aiming and holding my eye on lock. Because the one thing about pinballing is, it's really hard to shoot the other person. So you kind of are pinballing to get into position where you can joust them or we can get behind them, right? But yep. if you get, you know, I can track someone who's pinballing um, while I'm at 50% throttle pretty easily. So it's hard for them to get behind me. And then I wait for my eye on missile to lock and then I fire it. Gotcha. And what do you let it go within like 200 meters or so and boost yeah but i was gonna get to that in a little bit i'll get down a little bit explain some of that that theory when in, in an actual uh mash but yeah that's just what we do um that's freaking that was first of all is a very good explanation so thanks for that yeah no problem i like i, I think like I'm yeah people yeah i think the problem is people don't understand how it works and that's why i want to explain how it works essentially right because if i explain how it works then the mystery's gone and you understand how it works Oh yeah, okay. I've actually done, I've been doing this without realizing it. Like when I'm usually trying to boost and drift, I, I keep the throttle at fifty percent. So yeah, I just haven't been uh, very good with the power management you know, doing it quickly. Yeah, and that comes in time. That comes in time. That 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 power management part comes in time. And don't worry about it too much. Just you know, practice it, get used to it, and then as you get used to it, the power management gets easier and easier and easier. Right. <laughs> Okay, let me show you something with Empire before we go into uh, into um, into a uh, a map, so I can show you some tactical stuff now. But this is the last technique stuff I'll show. I don't know if you've ever seen this from Fencar, but this is called Infinite Power. Oh yeah, I've seen it. Okay, I, I was I, actually watching you do it the other day. When yeah. I was back the game. Okay, cool. I, let, let me just cover it anyway, just for people on my stream. Yeah, just please, please. Okay. Do. Okay. If you notice, oh shit! No, I should do this way. Let me burn through my, let me burn through my engine. Okay, oh, I'm dead. I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay, next to the next to the uh, boost bar on the bottom left is an another blue bar, which is called the engine recovery bar. So if I shunt power away, you see the engine recovery bar is not full. It builds though. That that power is buildable essentially. So I shunt away. It starts to build. I can shunt that power for a laser. I can shunt it back for full boost. And if you toggle this back and forth, wait for the cart recovery to build, put a little bit of engine power back. I saw some laser. And if you shunt this back and forth while waiting for that recovery bar to build, you pretty much have infinite power. And I chose the TIE Fire specifically because it's the most broken of all the ships with infinite power. <laughs> like legitimately, you have to try very hard not to have power with the TIE Fighter. The bomber and the interceptor do need some management, like you have to wait a little bit longer, like a second or so, because the bomber and the interceptor have a smaller, uh, a smaller, uh, whoops, a smaller, uh, tank of, la uh, ammo clip, excuse me, ammo clip, but yeah, it, the, the, all those concepts with NR, with Empire is even more broken, because of how broken power shunting is. <laughs> Power shunting is still broken then. And look, I can dead drift, right? I'm dead drifting. And the, the TIE Fighter is moving like through space so far, just dead drifting. This is pretty much how I move in the map as an Empire. Oh, I'm just rolling uh, Mobius. So the roll like this. And then while I'm drifting, I'm rolling. Oh, you know what? Actually, no, that's a good question. Let me show you the Wotan Weave as well. Um, so what I'm doing Mobius is something called the Wotan Weave. And I'll show this to you, Hedgebane, as well. So when you're boosting and drifting, you can do you can do a barrel roll, essentially, right? And it's not this. This is not a barrel roll. This is an aileron roll, and it's kind of garbage in this game. 
Even when I'm boosting, it's kind of garbage. I'll show you with boosting. Right? There's no evasion to this. I'm just rolling, essentially. Which is twist your stick, or I think it's left or right on the left D-pad on controller. But what if I can make myself more evasive while I'm barrel rolling, or while I'm aileron rolling? So what I do to barrel roll in this game is I'll pull into one direction, say up left, or up left or down left, which is pu pulling me to the right, right? I'm sorry, up left, up right or down right, right? Which is pulling me to the right. And I spin to the left against that. So I'm going to show you the moves again. Pull up right, down right, right? Either or direction, and I spin while I'm boost drifting. So I'll, let, me, now let me put this all together. I'm going to do it very slowly because I know it, it can look intimidating at first. So boost, drift, up, now roll. And see how like I'm like corkscrewing kind of deal? That corkscrew makes you somewhat evasive because you're not invincible, but like you're a little bit harder to aim and hit essentially. And if I combine that with pinballing, you can really become very hard to hit while you're Wotan weaving essentially. So, Hadjwing, does the Wotan weave make sense to you? It's essentially just a barrel roll. It's all it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I lost video for, oh. like, the entire duration. But, yeah, I can understand. I'm, I'm able to follow with your okay. verbal explanation. Yeah, it's it's basically boosting uh, while pushing both sticks in opposite directions. So, yep. left stick, left, right stick, right. Yep. Yep. And it's actually easier on controller than it is on joystick because you have to twist against it, right? If depending on what you have, I have foot pedals, so I just use my foot pedals, and it's actually easy for me and my foot pedals. Toe macros. Toe macros. So many toe macros. Like this. Do it, damn it! Oh, I got video. Yeah, I'll show. I'll, I'll show you the Wotan weave before we go into tactical oh, yeah, position. Yeah. It's li yeah, exactly like you said. For me, it's just pushing opposite directions yep. on both my sticks and boosting. Yeah, it's boost skipping. It's stupid easy on controller. It's actually stupid easy on controller compared to like joystick and whatever. <laughs> but this little maneuver is act I saved my butt so many times. Because then the other thing is, here I'll show you. You can actually pretty much move in a straight line with it, right? But you'll be very evasive if you combat if you just mix boosts and drifts. You're pretty much if I alternate boost drift, I'm moving in a straight line towards my target, but I'm also pretty evasive at the same time. So the last match I played against you, you used this on me. You had like two health, and I was really <laughs> I kept Wotan weaving out. Yeah, it's, Wotan it's... weave kept me alive over twenty seconds against you just last night. <laughs> I, I love it. and the the fun part is not everyone knows about it, and it's such an e it's probably the easiest maneuver. It's easier than pinballing, actually. <laughs> okay, here I'm gonna create a custom match. I'm gonna show some tactical stuff now. I'm positioning in the game. Uh, and you can watch me in game, Hatchbane. Now this makes it easier. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, let me just set my settings. See battle. I'm gonna pick uh, Galatea. Why not? If I invite only. Is that password. Everyone laugh when he crashes into something. I always crash. I always crash in these trainings. I always crash in these stupid trainings. He never picks Yavin. Well, because you can't. I can't show the tactical stuff in Yavin. It's not. Yavin's boring. <laughs> um, exactly. It's easy to show things. Yeah, but it, the, you can't show the, the positioning stuff as easily. Oh, it has password. Uh, password's going to be A Wing main if you want to watch. Just please, if you're going to come in, just watch. Don't don't be a jerk and the fly. Password's A Wing main? Yeah. Just, why is it is, not? Is that all lowercase? Yeah, all lowercase. Hold on. It's set. There we go. Now it's set. I don't know why I didn't set before. Create pilot skeleton. Okay, yeah, and you can watch in game now if it makes it easier. Just like I said, please don't enter as a pilot. I want to do this without any pressure, so that way I can show people what the hell's going on. Yeah, start match. Oh wait, can you guys join? I realized I said to invite only. Crap. Um, let me rebuild it, let me rebuild it. Give me a second, let me rebuild it. I screwed up. 
Rob, don't do it, you dick. <laughs> uh, I'm, re I'm rebuilding it. I, I just realized I said it as. Two battles. And. Uh, Galatin. Private escape. Hey, man, just pilot. Rob's gonna embarrass me on stream. I know he is. Galatan. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, Mr. Gunny, how are you? How are you doing? Okay. Let's go on a Y Wing. Why not? So then, Hadjimin, after I do this, we'll go over some of my builds, okay? So that's why you get an idea of what I do. Yes, sir. Okay, so, like discussed before, and I know our trade has heard this a thousand times. Oh, you have to be boost drifting, Mobius. I'll show you again, really quick. Someone was asking about the old time weave. You have to be boost drifting. So boost, hold, drift. And then, and then you'll see the uh, you'll see the lines. And then when I'm turning like this, I'm turning against the roll. So I'm rolling le left. I'm pulling right. Essentially, I'm pulling right, rolling left. And then this is the Wotan weave. Does that make sense, Mobius? I hope so. Okay. Yeah, I'm just rolling against my turn, essentially. So I'm pulling to the right, rolling against it. Okay, let's win this Roll open. To your right. Yep. And it's not it's actually not very intuitive. And I get why people don't know that exists. <laughs> Rye Fox taught me that. And I'll say I'm a lucky I'm a lucky player in this game. Some of the best players in this game has taught me how to play this game. Rye Fox, Distracia fun car so that's is you know people ask why i like doing this is because i'm i know i'm lucky the best players in this game have taught me how to play this game and i want to pay that back in some way to everyone else okay hadjman let me win this flip and i'll start explaining some tactical stuff viewing 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 i, I viewing is different i <laughs> teaching yeah. teaching viewing is its own class as you learned last night <laughs> yes <laughs> Unique. Yeah, I, I was trying to teach you tradies last night some of the B-wing tactics because B flying B-wing is the is the opposite of everything I've taught today. Yeah, it's it's unique. God damn it! I hate Galatan. <laughs> I hate Galatan for AI farming. It's the worst. Okay, good. We won. Okay, so. Hedgebane. The most important thing about being uh, being evasive in this game and being um, effective is taking all the tactics I've showed you and killing A1. Oh my god, where is this A AI? God. Okay, he stopped shooting at me. Okay. And it's being in the right positions at the right time, essentially, right? All that stuff I taught you is no good if you're in open space. Open space is easy to track, and I will even if you pinball, I will eventually get you. It's just a matter of time. But and the reason I chose Galatan is is the most important thing that people for cover. Cover, bingo. Good. I mean, you're a military guy. You understand that. But cover, yeah. but cover is just not the rocks, but even the cruisers. What a lot of us do is called orbiting, right? If someone's tracking me and I'm shooting at this bad boy, I'm going to use it as cover. It's not hitting me, right? Because I'm boost drifting around it, or it hit me, but like it rarely hits me now, right? Yeah, and while someone is trying to, less of an opportunity to shoot you. Well, the cruiser's not hitting me, but my opponents are going to struggle now to hit me because the cruiser itself is half my cover now. Right. Right. So if I use the cruiser as yeah, half cover, I, really I can keep shooting at. It. Now, if you get really good, right, you can keep aiming at it while you're orbiting. Yeah, right. I, I've seen you do that so many times with our light cruisers. I 
and I've I've tried to implement that into my own tactics. Yeah, and it's worked. And like with the dead, right? With a dead drift, I can drift enough, throw my engines and keep going, right? And on top of that, what I do is I I aim I aim at each of the guns. Each of the guns is worth one H one one uh one uh shit. It's worth one uh it's worth point. one percentage point. Thank you. Right, so it, it helps me speed down the kill, and on top of that, if they're dead, they can't shoot at me anymore. So I can actually out of phase this really easily, right? So yeah. the most important cover I use in any map is the cruiser and the ISD. I'll show the ISD in a second. Oh yeah, and I've, I've noticed that you use your gunfire rockets to help you take out them. Uh, like when you're in your X-Wing. Boom, right? you gone. Your rockets at the turret. 15, 15 gone, uh, three gone, three gone, right? Yeah, if you dump fire, you don't have to lock and aim. You can just fire and aim. So be careful. Be careful when you're drifting. When you're drifting, it follows your trajectory, so you will miss. I usually dump fire after I stop drifting, and then I go again. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Let's say going around the cruiser, I have two or three people on me, right? The next thing to do is is try and figure out how to evade and pull them away, right? And I chose Galatan because, like you said, cover the rocks. Yeah, you want them chasing the rabbit, so now your your team can punish. Boom! You got it, man. I, you're the perfect student. <laughs> you're the perfect student. It's not only. Well, I mean, you're like you know, I I, I have tactical training, and it just really makes sense. Yeah, and it's not, and like you said, it's not only pulling them, but pulling them into the right positions, right? One one of the easiest things to do is go around Galatan or wherever you're at. Towards the frigate, right? I'll chase you around rocks or something. Yeah, and then the rocks will give me cover, and then when I get to the frigates, the frigates will now provide cover fire, right? And yeah. it's happened many times where I, I drag someone here and just dance around my own frigate while they're trying to kill me, waiting for them to die, and then they'll die, right? You've because done that to me, <laughs> like you think you're gonna get me, and I just keep dancing around my own frigate, waiting for you to die, and then once you die, I heal up, right? Um, but not only that. Um, another important thing is knowing where your allies are, right? Knowing, like, I, I work with my PvP guys. If I'm close to them, I drag them towards my PvP guy and call for my peel, right? But let's say I know I'm going to die, or I'm in, like, a, such a bad way, my power is low, my shields are low, <laughs> and it's not worth it to, to have my PvP guy come and save me for whatever reason. Then I'll peel away from everyone else to drag the opponent basically away from the fight and force them into a bad decision, right? Either they come and kill me for the morale and they're now out of position to help the rest of their team or they give up on me and I go back and heal, right? It's these tactical choices you have to make um, yeah. in the middle of the match. And... Um, well, it sounds like as long as you keep your priorities in line, I mean, you know, your priority is always to stay alive, right? So... Correct. You know, if, if you can... If you can evade and, ha and get and have enemies give chase, that's them not protecting the objective. I mean, I try to do the same thing. Correct. I'm and it's not as good at it as you. <laughs> and practice, like I said, pra all the stuff I showed you before, just practice that. Just get it so that it's it's muscle memory, where like you can just do it instantaneously, yeah. right? Um, but more importantly, especially if you're flying with a group, you guys have to coordinate, and that's something that we work on a lot: coordination about where we're at. We always attack the same shit. We always say where we're going, so this way our PvP peels know where we're going and have an idea of where to cover us. Our support knows where we are, so they can repair us or mask us. Uh, our deck of players so playing where I'm the only person with a mic. <laughs> no, I and I, I I've been there. I've been in solo queue. Right, the solo queue life is completely different life than playing with a team. Playing with a team gives you so much more room and flexibility to do what you're doing that you can hyper focus on what you're doing, um, and it changes the game. It absolutely changes the game. Um, but when I solo queue, I play a completely different style, kind of close to what you do today, where like you try and speed what you're doing and not die. Um, or if you're PvP, you're protecting your uh, you're protecting your your randoms from dying essentially, right? It's a completely so, different game. Solo queue, solo queue, pretty much. I only ever get to uh, to dog you know dog fight, and I prefer objective. So uh, you, you want me to be honest? You're better off doing objective versus dog fighting. <laughs> Yeah. Well, not when I got guys on my team dying. I know you still are. You still are because you can't save them. I, I'll be I'll be honest. You can't save them. There's there's no hope in saving them. Like I've I've tried. I've tried it the PVP way. I've tried it the objective way. You're better off doing objective and just trying to pray you can outrun your opponents. Right. 
And the reason I say that is because you know what you're doing. Like, attacking this ISD with a Y-Wing sucks ass, but I know that us, us at the top, top level can do it effectively. Usually in a random solo queue, when I see a guy in a Y-Wing come at it, they just cut fly straight, they just try and bum rush it, and then they get- Yeah, they joust the Star Destroyer. Correct, and they, they get- wonder why they die. Right, they massacre, right? They, they don't even know, they, like, they may know about the, uh, they may know about the Vandersloop here, right? But the Vandersloop is not the best approach all the time. Like, I think you've seen me do this, where we call this, I think, the Harpy Dive, where it's a modification of the, of the Vandersloop. Or I actually come from the top, and I aim for that same notch. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm coming from the top, aim for the notch. Now I'm doing the Vandersloop from above, essentially, right? And then I can attack it from above. And then I'll just come in and start doing cycles over here, over the top of... I aim for the riser here, I just start going in cycles on the shield gems, essentially. Now I've been noticing uh, when I get into lobbies against some higher level guys, uh, they sometimes target targeting. Um. Okay. I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain that and why. And I know exactly who you're talking about too. <laughs> yeah, and I've, I've I've done a little bit of reading into it, and I think it's got something to do with passive damage. But Correct. It cuts passive damage see, in some half. Some teams do it, and some don't. No, it's. It, it's a matter of situation. I'll, I'll say it's a matter of situation. Lay back off so I can explain that. It's a matter of situation. So targeting cuts passive in half essentially. So instead of losing half a percent every second, you lose a half a percent every two seconds. So one percent every four seconds if you get targeting. That's right? a big reduction in damage. Yeah. Um, but the problem is targeting has, for some reason, is bugged and has a lot more health than all the other systems, give or take. Um, and that might be just observational. I'm not sure that's 100 percent true, but. All the subsystems have the same hull percentage, but it doesn't seem that way when we're fighting. Now, okay. when do we make that choice to go after targeting versus everything else? Um, it's usually based on morale and whether we're going to get another attack phase or not. We, we make a quick determination. Okay, if morale is 50% or less, we go for targeting if we know we're getting another attack phase. Why? Because it reduces passive damage and reduces our risk um, on defense, right? We get more time on defense, essentially, because we reduce passive damage. Um, so if you struggle on the flip and you have an opportunity to take the targeting out, that would be a good time to do it. Correct. But, okay. um, and this is really applies more so to team play. Hey there, Edwin. Um, the, the one thing is, if you're in team play and you know you're not getting another attack phase, like you know your shield gens are out or you know they're going to one phase the crap out of you, right? Like you only have one shield gen to protect. You might say, screw it, get gens in power and go for the win now. It's risky. But if we pull it off right, then targeting was a useless waste of time because targeting doesn't help us in stopping passive damage, in, in, in stopping, in, uh, in killing the ISD, right? Because the ISD's uh, targeting only gives us like 1% bonus on top of all the damage we did on top of it, right? Yeah. So targeting, killing targeting is purely a situational thing and a team decision. And it, it really depends on the situation. Um, okay, another another evasive position here, I'll show it to everyone, is, okay, let's say you're dancing and I need to rebuild shield. Let's pretend I need to rebuild shield, right? You may see some people do this. This neck here is a great place to dance around, and I think I've done this to you a couple times, Anthony. Where I'll dance around this neck, just to, just to buy myself some time, and then I can also shoot the shield gens while I'm dancing around the neck, right? And then, because it gives me partial cover, essentially, right? Actually, if you go underneath the uh, the bridge, it's like full cover, and I bounce it, right? And then sometimes I'll orbit, I'll orbit around the body here where power is, right? So if you notice, I'm orbiting around where all the main systems are. Oh no, not the tractor beam! Okay, thank God. Where the main systems are, right? Because if I orbit around the main systems, I can shoot them when I'm going around, essentially. Yep, I've seen you, Sinister, like all kinds of people doing this. Yeah, so you want to choose the right places to orbit. Just orbiting is not enough. You have to orbit in the right spots, right? And I've shown you like three basic places that against the ISD you can orbit that you have a, a prime target to go after. Another reason I like going around the neck is there's always a, there's usually a weak spot, point either on the bridge or on the back neck here. I'll show you. Yeah, there's one on the front, I see. Yeah, the front, and then sometimes it's one here, right in the neck, right about there, right? 
So, like, I orbit in positions where I know I'm going to get a, a prime target. Like a weak point or a shield gen. Unless I'm in trouble. If I'm in trouble, I need to get the hell out. Or I need to pull someone away. Then I'll orbit around maybe this rock here and rebuild my shields. If I'm, like, if I need to peel them away. Like, if I have three guys on me, I'm not going to orbit around the ISD. That's crazy, because three guys will kill me. So I'm going to peel them away here and force them into a bad decision of chasing me while giving my team more time to work the objective, right? Yep. It's like I said, situational. Um, yeah, shield gens are important. Always push for shield gens. So they're probably the most important thing you could do in any to anything. Because if shields are out, uh, you're gravy. If you have a pair, another good thing to do is beacon the ISD. Iron Missile, the shield gen, it disables it. If you do what's called the double shield gen disable, then you can uh, you can take out the shield gens without killing them, essentially. right? If you beacon and then you disable both shield gens, then it's out for 60 seconds. And then you can either take out the shield gens or go for something else. Go for the power. Yep. Um, hold on. Let's see if I can... Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me go back into practice now, and I'll go over builds and uh, some other tactical stuff. Hey, airplane, how you doing? Um, okay, let's go to builds. So you can see in my stream, right? Uh, no, not right now. I can. It just went out right when you got done with your. Okay. Okay, go to yeah, go to my stream. I'll go some of my builds. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Okay, so Are you gonna do Republic or both? Both, both. First? I'll do both. I'll do both. Yeah, which first? Oh, which one do you want? Um, New, New Republic or Empire? Start. Yeah, start with Republic. First. Okay. Um. Okay. Sorry, one second. Let me check my Wookiee mouse. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. Ba ba ba. Okay, let me start with the X wing because the X wing is my bread and butter. Um. Same. Love that ship so much. So probably the most basic uh, one you can do um, for objective is, um, I'll go with this. So burst cannon, conch missile, I use rockets, but you use proton torpedoes. I can go into a whole essay about why I hate proton torpedoes, but I get people love proton torpedoes. Anything that does why, damage. Why essential. do you hate proton torpedoes? Okay. Torpedoes in general have many issues. <laughs> First, you have a minimum lock range. You have to be within, you have to be 500 meters or further away. So where you're orbiting, you, you actually have to push it away from the uh, ship, which means you're breaking yep. cover, um, which means you're open. And you have to hold that for like three seconds, give or take, right? So you have a minimum fire range. Um, you can't dump fire it. Um, it's easy to counter. You fire it, someone can shoot it down. I mean, you can shoot it on missiles, or but it's much harder. Particle burst it. You can particle burst it. You can warhead. Like a warhead's like a dirt easy one for newer players. From 750 meters out, you can just fire your warhead seeker and then um, kill it, right? Super easy to counter. And if you use particle burst, you also break lock, right? So if someone just chaffs the um, cruiser, you'll, you'll sometimes see your, your lock break, which means that you have to bail the run and you have to, you have to wait for the three-second cooldown. Uh, hit reg issues. It doesn't always hit properly. It doesn't do full damage. It sometimes doesn't hit at all. Or sometimes it just misses, quote unquote, misses the uh, the cruiser, and then it circles the cruiser and then goes back and hits it, right? And during that time it's circling, it can be shot down. Um, it's not consistent. It's a lot of damage. It's a crap ton of damage, but it's not consistent. And that's why I personally don't like it. But okay. I, I get... I think that's a wonderful explanation. I mean, yeah. that's what I've been using. You know I know. I mean? And it's, it's, a, it's a lot of damage, and I get why. The splinters do it. The splinters use proton torpedoes. Um, it's just, I, if I am trusting it to take down a ship and it doesn't do it right, that's, that's a tactical position loss. Like, let's say we're attacking a ship. We're like, okay, I say torp away, switch ships. And I'm expecting that ship to go down and it doesn't, right? That's morale. We didn't win. Or that's a ship that's still up that we're expecting to be down. Right. And I, yeah, I like certainty when I'm commanding a battle, essentially, um, but perfect sets. it's a lot of damage. So I fit it to your play. I've been, I've been <laughs> noticing that, you know, like I'll have a clear shot. I'll fire two torpedoes and only do like 10% damage. I've been noticing that a lot more lately. When you should be doing so 16 about, or fit 14, right. something like that. I don't know why I'm doing reduced damage on some shots, but I mean, you, it's you, hit you just said it yourself. Right. So I've been thinking about changing it. I just didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm 
Thank you for that explanation. Yeah. I'm not saying it's wrong. Please but, continue. Yeah, but I'm not saying it's wrong. I want to make this clear to everyone who's watching. It's not a bad choice. It's just it's a choice you have to understand what you make. You will have inconsistency. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Um, I like uh, dual twips, uh, not dual twips, dual missiles on my X-Wing, so Ion Conk. Yeah, because Ion is a good defensive maneuver. Um, and I was going to, yeah. A good thing with Ion is you can take down shields, you can disable, you can do what's called the Ion Dunk, where, like you said, you go within 200 meters and you fire after boosting. Because when you boost and you fire a missile or a torp, there's like a second of instantaneous velocity because it, it, it matches your speed and then it slows down to its natural speed. Uh, oh, yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, right, so like, and that, that's how you sometimes get. That's how I sometimes I induct you, even if you pre-chaff. And then the concept for those who are watching, the concept of pre-chaffing is right before the lock occurs, you chaff in hopes to either break the lock or if the lock, if it locked and they fired, you're gonna beat the missile anyway, right? Um, if you pre-chaff too late, and I boost at 200 meters, I'm gonna beat your chaff no matter what. It's just a property of the game. I can't explain it, but if I'm like within 20 meters, I boost and I fire my eye missile, I got you. I know I got you. <laughs> Unless you pre-chaff like two seconds before I fired my missile, which you should have broken my lock then, right? I'll know if, you, if you're chaffing because my lock will break essentially and I have to reset. Um, sorry, that was a tangent because I, I, I didn't want to forget about talking about pre-chaffing and all that jazz. But yeah, eye missile is great. Um, as you see, I do conch missile and rockets. Rockets are good defensive uh, aux. Like if someone's PVPing me, I can hit them on the joust, or I can use them against uh, turrets on the cruiser. And that's what I use rockets for on, the, on cruisers or on ISD. I just blast turrets with them because they're one percent hull damage to both cruisers, ISD, and MC. Right. Um, I I switch between jet engine and slam engines, and that's that's. That's typically build dependent. On my attack builds, I use jet engine. However, there are two where I don't use jet engine. One is we have a build with boost extension and slam engine. Um, and the reason I use boost extension is, is so that I can immediately start boosting at full boost bar to the ISD. So my, if I spawn from MC, I'm going towards the ISD, I use my boost extension one. So I can, the moment I, I spawn, I hit boost extension, I start boost gasping there, right? So usually by the time I arrive, I prime down to two or one bars left, but I have my boost extension probably re refreshed by then. And I can spam boost extension when I need it again at that point. And I'll always be able to boost gasp. I pretty much have infinite boost gasp in an X-Wing with boost extension and slam. Um, and the only other time I have slam engine um, on the X-Wing is my Plasburst build, which I use to burn the Raider. I have a Plasburst build, which I use to burn the Raider, essentially, because Plasburst is probably the fastest way NR can burn the Raider um, without assistance, essentially. Um, if you notice, almost all my builds have reinforced hull, except for my PvP build, which has dampener hull. And we all have ray shield, because the only thing that usually hits us is an ion missile, um, which I found out last night as splash damage, which is probably why sometimes you think that you avoided it, but it hit, it exploded on you, and it splash damaged you, essentially. Um, ray shields have the disadvantage of Increased damage from aux, but we typically don't get hit with auxes except for ion missiles, like I said before. And if an ion missile is hitting you, you're getting disabled using your shield anyway. So who cares? Meanwhile, if I take laser damage from my shield, it's reduced, and I keep my shields up longer. So any questions about that, Hatchbane? Anything you want me to go over in the X-Wing that you do that you want me to talk about? Well, I've been using the uh, resonant shield with some pretty decent success. <laughs> what do you Fame, think about I'll that one? The resonant shield? Um, no, don't drop resonant shield. It's garbage. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's absolutely garbage. And fam, I'll show you the video later. The, 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 someone sent me a video of it doing splash damage. Um, but yeah, the resonant shield's garbage at our level because you'll never be at 100%. You'll, you'll never you'll never be at 100% with resonant shield. And honestly, if you boost gasp, you don't need resonant shield because you can just boost gasp to get laser power. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Um... I, Deflector shield is another alternative if you don't want to run ray shield. If you don't feel safe with ray shield, deflector shield is the alternative I'd run. Okay. Deflector shield is going to give you 30% more shield, but 35% less health. But if you're boost gasping, you keep it up. I'm sorry, that's and, not... And then again, none of these concepts apply to B-Wing. Yeah, yeah. That B-Wing is completely different beast. Sorry, it's fortified deflector. It's 20% more shield, but minus 25% regenerate. That's the alternative you can run if you don't want to run ray shield. Run fortified deflector. Just ignore B-Wing is a completely different beast. 
everything I've talked about today doesn't apply to viewing, and viewing is a completely different class. <laughs> Defending right. Um, and Edwear, I would suggest going to, I'll show you my PvP build, standard laser. First, against PvP is really hard. Standard lasers are much better. Uh, the iron dunk, as I explained before, is probably the best way. Lock iron missiles, get within 300 meters, boost fire iron missile to disable them, just back around, shoot them. Um, with standard laser, I have rockets, as you can see on my PvP build, because I can drift around and not have to about relock. I can just spam my rockets while I'm firing my lasers just to kill them after the iron dunk. And I'll have about three seconds to do all that. Um, so it takes a little bit of practice with drifting. Um, that would be, and let, let me say something though. I am not the best PvPer on my team. I know I'm a good PvPer. I'm better than average, but there are other PvP techniques that you probably want to talk to a, a true PvP player about um, because there are some things that a PvPer has in their mind on how to slay that I just am slow with, to be honest. But um, typically, I boost around, try and get within their back plane. And then I just try and go to 50% speed and keep them in my sight, essentially. Yeah, people, people with Burst are just infuriating because that means that they, they lead. Their, their lead is even better than mine. And I played X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. So my lead is pretty freaking good. But with Burst, not only do you have to lead, you have to know when to pull the trigger on the lead. And that is really hard in this game because of how everyone pinballs, which is why I stick the standard laser because with pinballing, it makes it very hard to track a, t a target with, with Burst laser. Unless you sit them right behind and you sit on their six the entire time. And then it makes it easy. Um, okay, sorry, Hedge I don't mean to, to, to sidebar, but oh, people no, are asking no, me questions. No, it's fine. I'm learning too. Um, with Y-Wing, the most important one you can do is multi-lock Goliath. It's the most flexible Y-Wing build out there. And if you notice, on Y-Wing, I run Slam instead of Jet Engine. Um the reason for that is is because Y-Wing has an incredibly high regen rate for boost. So Jet Engine actually has no advantage on Y-Wing over Slam. And Slam, when you're boost gasping, um, keeps building engine uh, boost. So you said you use Slam over, over Jet? In Y-Wing only. Okay. Because the, 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 the two most important properties of Slam are... When you're not fully in engines, it still builds boost. And when you're not, when you have zero pips in engines, you don't deteriorate boost, right? Mm -hmm. So since Wyoming has a stupid fast regen rate, Slam is an engine is better for Wyoming, the gen engine. Okay. Because literally, you can wait like a second, and then boom, you have Slam. <laughs> you, have, you, have, you have boost to go. Not even a second, like half a second. You have boost to go in a Wyoming, even with Slam engine. And if you're boost gasping around, you can actually build. You can actually build boost. With flame engine, if you're very efficient and you're not taking a lot of fire. Right. Um, if you notice, I use standard lasers and warming over rotary. Yeah, I do too. Yes, correct thing, correct thing. Goliath doesn't do damage on shield though. Um, and the reason I use standard over rotary and warming is because without shunting, rotary burns to your ammo clip and has all the penalties and doesn't keep up fire rate as easily as standard lasers. Standard lasers are actually better in warming because you can't shunt. But in Bomber, I run over because of shunting. Oh, yeah. uh, I have pro... Uh, your, uh, let's see. Your hole and, oh, uh, reinforce hole. Reinforce hole across the board for objective players. Yeah, reinforce hole across the board. Even in X-Wing uh, for objective players. Because like the only one I don't have reinforce hole is my X-Wing PvP with damp hole to help increase lock time, right? Because I get more... Uh, maneuverability that way but you don't have to worry about maneuverability because you're boost drifting as an objective player all the time like if you're not boost gasping all the time with a objective player you're you're you're, you're dead <laughs> you're, you're absolutely yeah. dead uh and then i have one extra build called uh i call iron surprise where it's multi-lock iron cannon for against defenders right because our mac iron cannon against defenders is a great self-defense mechanism it's also a great attack mechanism if you know how to organize with your team Um, okay, anything else on NR before we go to the Empire? Because I mean, those are the only two ships I use for um, objective. No, I think, I mean, yeah, I'm good. I should be. Okay, let's go to Empire. Because, I mean, it's 914. I, I just want to make sure we don't run out of time. Uh, okay. So I run Slam across the board on Empire. For the exact reason I explained to you on on, uh, on uh, Y-Wing. On top of that, I can shun power. 
And when I shunt power away, it holds my boost. So slam engine across the board on Empire. But with power shunting, there's no reason not to run slam, to be honest. There's, there's no advantage of and jet engine. you're using the uh, burst cannon. Burst cannon across the board for a TIE fighter. Because yeah. I do not have a PvP build for a TIE fighter, though I should. <laughs> um, but enough, I do have a proton torp build for a TIE fighter because of the fact that I, I can be sloppier and it's easier to drift a TIE fighter than it is an X-Wing. So I, it's, I, what I sometimes do with the TIE fighters, I drift away. And as I'm drifting, I'll, I get the lock at 500. And just as I'm hanging, like, you know, at the end of a drift, you kind of hang. I should have full lock. I fire a proton torpedo as I boost back in, essentially. So I TIE Fighter is probably the only time I would say, hey, it might make sense to run a proton torpedo. <laughs> I'm still anti proton torpedo next one, but anyway. Uh, I do have a PvP build for a TIE Fighter. But I should make the standard laser. I haven't played PvP and TIE Fighter forever. Um, bomber, same thing. I use Rotary Cannon instead of... Standard lasers, but it's pretty much the same exact build for Y Wing. I have a bomb build because we bomb as the Savrips. Uh, um, yeah, that's my objective. That's all my objective. Oh, a TIE Defender. TIE Defender is also a good objective uh, alternative because it flies like a Y Wing, essentially, except with stupid fast um, shield. Well, sorry, stupid fast boost build and shield build. Well, not stupid fast shield build, but you can, with APS, you can basically do that, right? But same concepts, you can run comp missile or rockets, or actually cluster missiles. Cluster missiles make a great objective damage one, which is unique to the TIE Defender. Because cluster missiles is, what is it, 750 per missile? 450 per missile times 4, that's 1250 damage. Uh, sorry, did I do math right now? It's 1800 damage, right? 450, 900, 1800 damage. From four cluster missile lock. The defenders are nasty. Oh yeah, and they pinball like a so, like a feed. Yeah. yeah. I, the one problem with defenders though is you have to be evasive all the time, so your your lock onto the ship isn't as long. Whereas the tie fire, I can dead drift it over the top and I can fire right. Um, so sometimes what we do is we mix. We'll have one player fly defender on one fighter, and then we'll we'll basically dead drift and and uh, pinball around, making it possible to hit both of us at the same time, right? What's the team tactic thing? Yeah, you guys have done that to us a couple times. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, that's actually it. I mean, I, I think I've given you a lot, a lot to practice, a lot to think about. I don't want to overload anything. So any particular question you want me to get into while you have me? That's everyone on the stream as well. Anyone want to ask me in particular? I think you covered some good information for me, I think. I'm just putting these builds together. Okay, yeah. Um, I was gonna say, um, you know I'm open. You can tag me in Discord. Um, anyone on my anyone on my stream? There's a Discord link to the X-wing versus Tie Fighter community Discord. I'm based out of there. Um, you can join that. Tag me. Whisper me here on Twitch. I don't mind answering any questions. Contact me on Reddit. Um, a lot of these guys will tell you. I, I done classes like this now like seven or eight times at this point um i don't mind talking about strategy in this game or whatever teaching um just finding the time with me is always the hardest part because i usually have something going on um yeah um if what time is it 9 18 i have time for a game um if you want to fly hatchbane oh yeah <laughs> okay. how, how about you trade you want to fly or are you, you busy yeah uh, let me see if they're. Let me see if they're flying an orange. Ah, they got three. Okay, let's just go ahead. Let's go ahead and make a group because. Um. Actually, I I just thought of something. So on go your ahead. first attack against the light cruisers, do you guys uh, bring an eye on to drop shields or? Haha. <laughs> Good question. Um. Team play. It depends. Um. Typically, no. We have two flex. Well, we have one or two flex players who bring iron missiles. Two iron missiles will knock down the shields for the most part. With the Y wings, we can get any the shields with the multi lock and Goliath. So the first pass, we don't worry about shield. The objective players don't worry about the shields. The people who have to take care of the shields are the flex players. That's their job and the support. The support will beacon and help shoot down the shields. The, the objective player's job is to get underneath the shields and destroy them, destroy the ship itself. Okay. Um, I, I know 
you might have seen Splinter do it this weekend. One of the Frex players bring an Ion Torp. It's not a bad idea because you can bring Ion Missile, Ion Torp, and then you can Torp the main ship that everyone's going for, and then Ion Missile the second ship, essentially. But that's a team play thing. It's all organized and work out, right? Yep. I'm sure you don't see you online. Uh, I'll invite you. Disaster still there? Oh, he's in game. Crap, I would have invited him to game. Uh, anything else? Anyone else? Anyone have a question before we go into the game? Oh, I'm ready to try this out. Yeah, practice. Trust me, practice. It It's not going to be intuitive the first time. It's it, it literally took me about, I would say, a week straight of flying 15 minutes to 30 minutes a day just doing the, 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 the muscle memory stuff for boost gasping. And then I got to a point where, like, it just, it you know, it was just wired in my brain to do it this way. Right. Well, it took me like a week to remember I remapped my boost to L2. <laughs> yeah, but, but the small changes like that, they do they do take a while to get used to. Like you can't you can't expect to be awesome um, immediately. I pretty much wake up awesome every day. I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, no, I feel you. I'm I'm definitely gonna practice this. I've seen you use these tactics against me probably a hundred times. And, uh, you know, you explained it very well. I definitely feel like I have a great understanding of it. Good, 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 good. Sorry, I'm I have just... absolutely zero understanding of PvP. <laughs> uh, PvP is, and it's funny, like, we're working that internally on the server, it's PvP, but it's different between Fleet Battle and actual Dogfight, right? Because PvP is a matter of dragging the opponent to bad positions and getting your slayers to come in and finish them off, but not but doing it in a way that you're not slowing down your attack, right? Because the, the, game, the name of the game is time to win, and you want to be faster than your opponent to win, which means your objective players have to always be shooting up the opponent's ship in some capacity, right? Yes. Um, and, the bigger the ship, the easier it is for me to shoot. Yeah, and, Spl and Splinters was the perfect example this weekend, and so was CA Gold, in that Everyone, everyone was in on shooting the ship in some capacity. PvP was second. And PvP was basically uh, a moment of opportunity, like S scalp or um, knight yeah, with a scalp. attacking a an opponent only when it was opportunistic, not when it was not when they, you know, not just because. Yeah, scalp was running like a full flex wing. Yeah, this they, weekend. Him and uh, him and Dream full flex wing. Right, Dream had I think. Iron Missile and is Conk. And like you said, uh, the scalp was Iron Torp, Iron Missile. That's that's full objective work, <laughs> other than standard lasers. Mic check? Okay, just making sure. Sometimes my phone cuts out on Discord. Yeah, I think that happens when you uh, just turn your phone off. Yeah. You... Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> work thing. God, I worked with this guy. Holy crap. <laughs> Sorry, I a work thing came up. And that was just this I, there's a guy I used to work with. I completely forgot he existed. And I'm laughing about it right now. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel like an idiot. Fred. Fred, Fred, Fred. I spell that wrong? I did not. I got this woodpecker been beating his head against the side of my house for about two months now. He's out there doing it again. <laughs> it's the season for them, right? That's the worst part. Like, yeah. Like spring is like when they're like full on. Let me annoy everyone in a three thousand mile radius. 
Well, I didn't real. I mean, they do it for food, obviously, but like, there's this yeah. one in town that beats his face against the metal wall, and it's loud as hell. And I was asking somebody, like, is that bird like special or what? I'm like, no, he's trying to attract a mate. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that either. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that they were, that's a mating call as well. Yeah. I didn't either. That was, uh, you know, I'm not, I live in the Northwest mountains of Maine. I'm originally from San Diego. So, you know, it's all a little bit new to me. How far are you from Cascade? Cool. How far are you from Acadia? Acadia uh, is on the coast. So that's probably about a three hour drive, but uh, I go there. I try to go there once a summer, at least. I went there five or six years ago. Oh, God, it's gorgeous. I, I love Acadia. Oh Acadia is nice. It is. Yeah, I love I love it here, man. I moving to Maine is one of the best things I ever did. Life's a little slow for me, but I don't mind visiting it. <laughs> I yeah, think it's my, definitely cold in the winter, but snowmobiling's fun. I think when I get older I might enjoy that life a little more. Who did we get? Yeah. I'm loading in. Holy crap, I've never heard of these guys before. That's usually a good thing. Yeah, I'll run. All right, I'll, I'll run PvP skills. unless you want to do it. And tradies, yeah, they're pretty much us. Uh, I do not try to do practice. PvP. Yeah, I'm doing exactly what you were just talking about for about what an hour. Yeah, do, uh, whatever whatever rules you guys want to do, I will cover the gaps. I will cover the gaps. So if you want both do objectives, you guys can do objectives. If you want to do PvP, I'll run objectives. Yeah, I'd like to do objective. Okay. Maybe you could be our flex, huh? Hey, okay, who do we have? No, I'll do straight PvP. I'll give you guys straight cover. Uh, okay. All right. I've heard of Tony before. So oh, yeah. Do you start with objective on Jax? Mm. Yes. Go on multi lock Goliath and get the AI farms. Get the AI packs. Yeah. AI farming, yeah shooting the rate of i don't oh well yeah we can't do that here that takes a full team to do yeah all right i got multi-lock goliath never really messed with the bomber before bandit Oh, bomber is so so broken, <laughs> especially with force level. Bomber is amazing, especially with shunt power shunting and the reinforced hull. Oh my god, you could tear stuff up. I love my Thai bombers. come out in an interceptor for Joust and try and kill the bombers on the enemy team. There's nothing better than casually getting 70,000 cap ship in a iffy match as a tie bomber. We're hitting 100k if you're carrying. It's always fun. Most I've ever gotten in one match is 98. I've never broke 100,000. I broke 100 in a custom with no denoseners, but I don't know if I've done it in just a public match, just because I play so much solo queue. Yeah, if we, with support with bombs, mm, 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 so much damage, <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh yeah, my god, we, hit, we got 69k uh, in that one match last night. Oh my god, trade if, if I could trade you the B wing, I've gotten like you've seen uh, Zultry's numbers. Zultry got like 250 one time. I've gotten 100,000 easily with B wing. Just yeah, B wing. <laughs> I just gotta get you in the right positions. That's all. <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean that team forfeited. If we played the whole match, I could have. You got eighty. We got to hundred. Yeah, easily eighty, maybe a hundred thousand, maybe a hundred, yeah. maybe a hundred, depending on how much you guys would have uh, shot. Oh boy, I got lag. Can't wait. Yep, I got lag. Okay, I might switch objective or a flex.
I've got this pack. Okay. okay. Call, call for help if you need it. I'm going for the A-Wing. Oh, B-Wing here. Let's put the B-Wing away. What the? Oh my god. Yeah, I... <laughs> the lag is so bad, I slammed the ship and I blew up like two seconds after I hit it. <laughs> I'm going to go to uh, Flex Bomber because this is going to be really hard otherwise. <laughs> oh, Corvette has no shields. Focus on your focus on your AI. Focus on your AI. I will take care of the Corvette. Can't find AI. Here, right here. Oh, found a pack. Oh, no. oh yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Don't worry, don't worry. Like I said, just focus. One second. The X-Wing? Yeah. One second. He's on me, actually. Oh my god. Oh my god, the lag. The lag. Alright. We're in a good spot. No. Get the Y wings. Get the Y wings. Oh, God damn it! I'm gonna try and go back to the interceptor. See if I can get the shot lag to work out here for me. Jesus Christ! What server are we playing on? Two AI. Two AI. Get him. Get him. Get him. Right here. Right here. It's like nine day, right? Like this, just no, no, knowing about how shunt lag works, it's like nine day. Oh my, oh my god. god! I've got, I've got my throttle all the way down, and uh, I'm moving faster than I've ever moved. <laughs> oh, wait, Vader's going Charlie. Okay, get, start working it. Oh, god, I can't. I'm trying to figure what I'm going to do here because fucking. <laughs> the shot lag is so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and I have a flex. I'm gonna see what I can do for you guys. I apologize. Oh, it's fine. Trees, you got three on you. Just keep yeah. moving, keep moving, keep moving. I'm right behind. I'm behind. No, I died. I was out of energy. Oh boy. This shunt lag is awful. I got, I got a bail. I got a bail. God, did we do anything? Uh. <laughs> not really. I'm not gonna lie, man. I like ran into our raider. It's okay. Times. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just. Like, yeah, this is really hard. Yeah, please. I'll take care of them. Oh my god.
Oh, god damn it. Of course. Easy pick, easy pick. Can we need two AI, two AI. Yeah, we got we got to take we got to take Delta and Charlie. Oh my God! Okay, come and help with Delta. We gotta do this fast. Actually, trade these. Take it back, Del Charlie. Charlie, change target. Get Charlie. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead. Oh. Tell, take the after here and wait for out of phase. Keep working. Just get it to two. Good at doing a lot of phases. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Okay, take it out, take it out, Retreaties. Alright. It's a 12. It's a 12? Can you I take can it out? Take it. Yeah. No farm, farm, I got it, I got it. Are you already here? Are you already here? Okay. Good job. an A wing. Yep. yep, I got it. I got it. He died. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna get him anyway. Okay. Oh my god. I got any help in the section. I fucked up. Never mind, I got it. Why we? Okay, go, go, go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Get, get the shield done. Get the shield done, the tradies. Choosing songs on YouTube music is only available with one of the premium accounts. It looks like you're eligible for a free trial. Do you want to get an email with more info?
Chase, which channel are you going for? Uh, right. Right, I'm going to left. We got here up there. They're, 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 you can check out YouTube's website. Now, here's a station based on Keep Pushing, playing on Whole Home. Oh my god. Okay, Google, stop. This is me. Oh my god. I had two or three of them on me. I got mine. Alright. Oh god, this sh Oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> this is so incredibly hard with the shunt lag. Nice. The other one. Okay, get targeting, get targeting. Okay, fall back, fall back. Atreus, I'm gonna take care of shields on the cru cruiser, then I want you to burn it. Oh, Damn it! Sorry, I got I got slayed. Um, uh, they're on the shield gens. They're on the shield gens. Can someone get up there, please? They're on top of it. Jesus Christ! Okay. I made the wrong call. I made the wrong call. Fuck me. Okay. Let's get the raider, let's get the raider. Yep. Okay. Alright. Power win, power win. Trades, call, call the weak points as you see him. Yep, I'm gonna stop in the hangar for a sec. Yep. Ship swap, got it. Power win, power win. Oh my god, our guys are bleeding out so fast! <laughs> Do you get power? Okay, I'm dancing someone. Cool. Okay. Call the weak points. Call the weak points. I'm out. I'm looking. Got three up top behind. In the back. Two. Okay. Oh, fuck. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just calm down. Calm down. We have plenty of time. Just don't die. Just That's don't die. Noob. Yeah, I just know. don't. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just don't die. Well, okay, that didn't help. What's it at? What's it at? Hawaii. 43. Okay, that's not diveable. Defend, defend, defend. I trade you, we got the PvP. Y wing. Y wing. Yep, got it, I got it. Why right. wing, why wing, why wing? I 
Got him. X wing, X wing. X wing. We're not gonna win. We got it, GG's. Well, that could have gone better. So, yeah, I need to no. practice the. Uh, yeah, so. I, I know I need to practice it the wasn't, maneuvering. It actually surprising it wasn't anyone here. Not surprisingly, I mean. Um, yeah, see, at the bottom, they fed out, and they fed out at the wrong times. Yeah. And I was I was struggling with shunt lag. I couldn't uh, I couldn't get my power down because <laughs> Oh my god, that's comically high. That was a lot of that, so that's... Yeah. that was a lot, man. <laughs> uh, I'm down for one more and then I got the mini I need to get to. You guys wanna do yeah. one more? Yeah, I can do yeah, one I'm, more. I'm game. No, I want salty one backs on that. I want the USA server. Give me the USA server. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, don't worry about it too much. Uh, it just takes practice. Right. Yeah, well, I, I need to reverse my barrage rockets with my concussion because, you know, my hand maneuver or movements on this controller throwing me off a little bit. Okay, yeah, I just practice, right? Just takes practice. And then, yeah, just finding out what works best for you. Oh man, that yeah. was that was salty. <laughs> kind of annoyed about how that went. I try to keep consistency on my loadouts, so my Goliath is on my uh, right auxiliary on every bomber loadout I have that uses Goliath. So it's that I can get down to muscle memory. I don't have to think. Oh shit, that's multi locks, not Goliath. So it's the same with fighters. Yeah, well, I mean, I I did the same thing with all my builds, but this is uh, very different from what I'm used to. I, I mean, it works. Like, my movements around the objective, I stayed alive for a very long time. You know, it basically was me who killed, who killed me for the enemy because I accidentally boosted into the fucking raider a couple times. But, my God, they couldn't hit me at all. It was amazing. Yeah, that, that game was on the seals. Yeah, I'm good to go. Is that boy we queuing? Am I not? Oh. No, we're, we're not. Oh, my bad. Well, oh, I see what happened. I know what happened. Okay, my bad. I got it. Well, I guess no salty runbacks. <laughs> Free trial? Free trial of what? What did I miss? I missed my chat. Free trial of YouTube Premium, probably. Oh, I need fame. Let me show you that video. Actually, I'll post the video here. If you're interested in fame. What was that? Now, uh, so I we discovered last night that apparently iron missiles have splash damage, <laughs> which was not known. <laughs> that would explain my uh, 
that last yeah. round when I got ironed. It, it explains, that explains what? my chaff working on uh, most missiles, but not ions. Yeah, it, yeah, like how sometimes pre-chaffing doesn't work. Yeah, apparently it splashes. <laughs> There's a video last that uh, from a match last night where someone hit two X wings with the same ion missile. Wow. <laughs> so, so, so this works the same way as uh, photon bombs have seeking. Yeah. Oh my god, the huts. What? How many of them? I'd rather, if we're gonna have lag, I'd rather be x anyway. It's Trevor living. It's, it's, the, it's the orange stack. We've got on our side. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, Trevor Levin. Okay, no, it's just Trevor and Le uh, Levin. Okay, I'm going to go PvP. We'll flex and we'll flex. Well. Got to farm hard, guys. Where are we at? Where are we at? The, the Abyss. Okay, we got to farm hard. If they pull out Defenders, I can uh, then ICT. Trevor doesn't run defenders. Livin might, I doubt it. He might run support. Uh, Trevor might do support too. They might do double support. Where are they? I'm coding on full farm. Yeah, no, I need you on full farm. We need got we gotta be fast on farm. Would you rather face an orange five stack? <laughs> I don't think orange is going anywhere. No, they're done. They're done. I'm just like, it could be an orange five stack. They're not the worst five stack you can hit. <laughs> oh, I know. In the morning, it's pretty bad. In the morning, thing, sure. Yeah, the only thing worse could probably be a hot five stack. Bombing considerations. Yes. Are you able to dumb fire your Goliath into packs? Uh, yes. Guys do that. Uh, if you look for Zyphaz, Z Y P H A Z, um, and dumb fire, he has a video of almost every dumb fire pack in the game. I have right. to memorize those. Yeah, I'm checking that out. I tried. I, I, I'm still trying. I, I'm trying to memorize it because at the highest level, it's pretty much, <laughs> pretty much can help. It pretty much will decide if, uh, decide the uh, flip if you don't. If you don't dump fire, then you should protect against the dump fire, basically. Yeah, it's gotten to a point where when I'm going up against good teams, I actually come out selecting missiles and I try to shoot it. You should be. Because I've done pretty good at it. Because I will dump fire against you. <laughs> I will 100% dump fire against you. You have nothing to lose other than a Goliath missile. <laughs> Okay, guys, stay clear of the supports, especially Livin. Livin will tractor beam you. No, no, sis. No, uh, he's pretty good. And then the other and Trevor is a PvP support, so it's a trap. Oh no, Livin's uh, defender. I got Livin. I got Livin. Just avoid him. All right, I've got this pack. Hedgeman, you got one on you. Be careful. Yeah. I'm trying to clear. I'm trying to clear. I'm trying to clear. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm, I'm harassing him. Just keep going. Oh, 
Trevor got you? Crap. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah, I'm gonna try and I, I do everything I can to keep you guys clear. Please, Rocco. Ram me, the dick. This guy just going PvP bombing. He is, he is, he is, he is. He is. I got him, I got him. Drifting my ass off, and they're still shooting me down. Yeah, Livin and Trevor are really good. And the Rocco guy is just being a dick now. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I will say, I will say they're shooting you down a lot slower than they normally do. Burn the Raider, burn the Raider. It's gone. Two AI, two AI. Right, I am I'm dancing living as much as I possibly can, guys. As long as I can keep living off you, then you're not gonna get dunked at least. And I fucking crashed and then I'm gonna be forget. <laughs> oh my god, I have such a child game. I'm trying to stop some torps and I didn't even get the torps. Oh, that's so funny. Alright. Raiders going Charlie. Yep. Quit Trevor's dunking as well. Okay, they got dunks too. Yeah. Trevor got me. Or Living got me, I think.
Got to get the Raider. I got you, I got you, I got you. Trevor's here. I got you. You're good, you're good. God, Trevor is really good with that iron missile. Yep. No pressure, but we gotta take both of these ships like right now. <laughs> All right. No pressure though. This is a very uh, PKA heavy game. Yeah, li living in Trevor are gonna be PKA heavy. Just the truth. I'm not a fan. Take me back to whenever we didn't kill people. Alright. Oh we can take Delta. Yep, take it. I, I'm trying to tie like tie up two people right now. Cause I got the bomber on me and I got living on me. Alright, I'm gonna take Delta now. Go, take it, take it. What's it at? What's it at? What's it at? It's, it's gotta be below five. It's at one. Okay, I got it. I got it. Focus on your jobs. I got it. I'm gonna dump fire it. Don't worry. Just focus on your jobs. One AI, one AI. What is this dude do? 
doing? Why are you still farming? It's fine, it's fine. It's focus, 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 focus. Okay, let's get the shield guns and power. They don't have to. Oh shit. Don't have to, but oh my god, I skimmed the riser. <laughs> I skimmed the friggin' riser. <laughs> I use a T1600 with the uh, TCWS, uh, Gail. T1600. It's okay. I'd rather have the VKB, to be honest. Staying alive a lot longer than I normally do against these guys, so I mean I'm gonna take that as a win. Yeah, uh, living living is amazing. Don't don't sell yourself short here. Living is an amazing pilot. So is Trevor. I'm dying quicker than I normally do. Well, they're putting pressure on me and you. That's why, especially me. Yeah, I'd actually be pissed at if I were living. I'd be pissed because that Raj guy keeps stealing his kills. <laughs> That Raj guy has like three or four kills on me, which were all Livin's kills. Alright, well. Good game. Yeah, GG, GG. I mean, what can you do, right? Yeah, I just gotta practice that a little bit more. I know, yeah. I know, I need to clean it up. But man, already it's game changing. Good. I'm glad. That's why I do this. I'm glad that you found it game changing. Yes, you've, uh, at Trades, they're focusing you and I, right? Uh, Zero yeah. eleven. That's not indicative of how good of a pilot you are. They were focusing the shit out of you and I. <laughs> they were just. I lost way too much SO for that. Yeah, I, I was trying to dance living a lot. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay, I I actually have to go. I have a meeting. I have a work meeting, which I need to get hey, on. Hey, man, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. No, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad that it was helpful for you guys. I was hopeful it was helpful for everyone out there in the real world. Thank you guys for stopping by. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go watch Disaster Stream. Thank you, everyone in Twitch. Have a good day, everyone. Yeah. Uh, and what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and definitely uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, um, Trades, you know, you don't know, you know, my door is open. But same thing, Hedge If you have any questions, my door is always open. Feel free to stop on by, and just I ask questions. It. Yes. Definitely appreciate it. And get in the Orange Discord because the guys that you normally fly against are Orange Squad. I think I'm in Orange Discord, right? Yeah. yeah. Orange. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. There's still a few discs.